Good morning, everybody. Matthew Smith here. Uh, sorry I missed you all on Monday. Felt like, well, I felt like crap, so I didn't come into work. But uh, we're going to have a short week then together. Uh, going to kick things off here on a Tuesday. So back with you, back in the saddle this morning. Uh, actually, just walk into the newsroom, getting signed onto my computer here. A couple stories that we're going to be following this morning. The, uh, the big one is going to be actually out of Pottawatomie County. Uh, Katie Stuckey is in route there right now. We already have a crew out there this morning. We've been monitoring a situation with a shooting. Call came in to 911 around 3 o'clock this morning. So this one happening just recently, uh, possibly one person dead and uh, one person under arrest. So obviously a very developing story. We're going to have news throughout 4.30 all the way up to 7 on daybreak. Keep an eye on that one. Internationally, the big news today, the Oscar Pistorius trial. Now, this one has been going on forever. You know, yesterday was the first day that Oscar Pistorius finally took the stand. He's back on the stand again today, this time talk with the defense. Now, I was just monitoring the courtroom situation, watching some live feeds. They're actually asking him a lot about his relationship with Reva Steenkamp right now and just how they were dealing with celebrity as he had just ran the Olympics not too long before they met and started dating. And the other news, obviously, missing Malaysian flight. We've been following it for a very long time. This morning, no new pings, but they do think they've got that area from what they found over the weekend. So they do have a search area that is minute compared to where it was long ago, but obviously it could take a very long time to search for that if those pings are, in fact, dead. That was the fear you know, with that dying battery. Speaking of batteries, yours charged this morning? Feeling yeah, good? Ready to go. Pretty smooth sailing weather-wise. Glad to have you back, man. You were not feeling good yesterday? I, can, I don't know if you could see it. I still feel like my face is... I'm oh, congested. Could've didn't want to get you guys sick. Tree, tree pollen's high. It could have been allergies. I mean, so we're going to talk about that today. And uh, weather-wise, it's pretty quiet. I mean, we're going to be a little cooler than yesterday, but temperatures in general, 60s and 70s for a good chunk of the week. So not a lot to worry about in this department. I'm going to put it on cruise control. <laughs> Finally get to celebrate some good. Although if it is allergies, I'm mad because I, I can't handle that. <laughs> I can't handle that. Tree pollen is through the roof. All right. Everybody keeps warning me that allergy season is going to be real bad for me. My first, my first go around here in Nebraska, I've been telling them, no, no, I'm fine. Maybe this is the first sign that I'm not going to be fine. So, hey, tune in. We're going to be talking all about those stories and much, much more here on Daybreak, 430 until 7. Remember the drill. Twitter, Facebook, we're interactive throughout the whole show. You can tune in, watch us while you talk with us, chat with us. We'll be with you throughout the show. We'll see you then.